Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra, and in today's video, we're going to be planning our first iteration in Spira Team. So in the previous videos, we have created requirements, we've added tasks, and created test cases. So now it's time to do some planning. So to do that, we're going to go to the planning menu and choose the planning board option. When you first come to the planning board, it's going to show you your product backlog. So what we need to do is change our group by option from the default, which is component, which is going to give us nothing because we haven't yet defined any components, and change it to by priority. And when you do that, you'll see on the left-hand side all the different priorities we have in the system. And if we expand them out, you'll notice that we have our user stories from before, our requirements, uh, shown in each of the priorities they've been assigned to. And sometimes on this page, if you haven't got a lot of space, you might want to go to the uh, viewer at the top and say, detail view, turn off. And that way, you can see the, the stories in a smaller, more compact view. You can also go in here and show the tasks and the test cases if you want. And that will show you each of your user stories or requirements, and you can see the test cases and the tasks for each one. And if you hover the mouse over very carefully, you'll see that each of the tasks shows 0% complete, because they're not started yet, and the test cases will all show not run, and they'll be gray. So now that we've looked at our backlog, and of course in this view you can drag and drop them around if you wanted to change the order or change the priority, you could just drag them up and down like that. And when you hit the refresh, the color will change on the side to match. And for right now, let me just remove the, uh, the test cases, okay. So next what we're going to do though is now plan out a particular release and iteration. So to do that what we'll do is change the selector on the left from product backlog to our release, so release 1.0. And right now there's nothing in the release and in fact we also want to show the sprints. So we can even show the sprints at the same time by choosing by iteration or sprint and you'll now see we have the release set to 1.0 and the group by to iteration. If you expand the unassigned items you'll see these are the four requirements in our backlog. What we're going to do now is drag those items from the backlog into our first sprint. And what we'll do is take the two critical ones, the system must allow entry of users, and the system must allow administrators, and we'll drag that into the first sprint right here. And again, you can change the view to detail view if you want to see more information or less, just like we did before. And you can also include the test cases in this view as well. And we have two more iterations as well, Sprint 1 and Sprint 2. And if we wanted to, we could take the next two requirements and just drag those over to the next Sprint. So we have two features, two user stories in Sprint 1 and two user stories in Sprint 2. And if you look carefully, you'll notice for each of the releases and the Sprint, you can see the available time. That's how much time is available based on the date range of that iteration and the number of people. And you can see, based on the assigned requirements with their associated tasks, how much time has been utilized. And then the time remaining is the difference between the time left in the iteration and the scheduled time. And if you keep adding tasks to it and requirements, eventually that bar will be go to 100%. You will have no more time available, and the remaining effort will go negative and will be highlighted in red. You can also see the overall progress here by looking at the release as a whole. So you'll notice that these two uh, user stories and their tasks are marked as yellow because that sprint's dates are actually in the past because we created this before, and the next sprint's in the future. So you'll notice that the items in this one are in gray because they're in the future, these ones should have started a week or so ago, so they're marked as yellow because they're late. And you can see the ratio of late to in, in on time slash future items right here on the release. So that's how you would plan the release and the sprints. And if you notice, the effort and tasks for the sprints, one and two, roll up to the parent release. So that's how you would do the release plan, and thanks for watching today's video. In our next video, we're going to be talking about assigning the requirements and tasks. See you next time.